Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this On One Photo Raw 2025 review. Now, On One Photo Raw is an all-in-one photo studio for Windows, PC and Mac OS and combines advanced photo management with non-destructive layer-based photo editing. Now, there are two versions of On One Photo Raw for you to consider, the Standard Edition and Photo Raw Max. Now, if you buy the standard edition, you will be able to run it on up to two computers, whereas Photomax gives you up to three. But the big difference between the two is that Photomax also includes the On One Professional plugin series, which basically splits off many of its core features into separate plugins, thereby enabling you to open applications such as No Noise AI, Sky Replacement AI, and so forth via third party photo editing applications such as Lightroom and Photoshop. But otherwise, both versions of Photo Raw are exactly the same. Both versions integrate the same functionality. The only difference with the standard edition is that that functionality can't be invoked by the separate photo editing app. Thus, if you plan to only use On One Photo Raw, you are much better off going for the cheaper standard edition. Now, if you would like to give On One Photo Raw a try for yourself, you can, and in the description below, there is a link to your free On One Photo Raw trial. So On One Photo Raw is absolutely jammed with features. So let's start with photo management. Now, now, as you might expect, On One Photo Raw has all the usual photo management features. So, for instance, we can assign our images to different albums, we can stamp our images with as many keywords as we like, and we can also assign a rating to our images depending on how much we like them or how much we don't. Additional features include On One's map view. This enables you to geotag your images, thus enabling you to browse your photos by where they were taken. We also have Keyword AI. Now, Keyword AI leverages On One's object recognition technology. Thus, it reads your image looking for familiar elements such as architecture, buildings, peoples, animals, and so forth, and then suggests keywords to that end. Now, critically, you do not have to accept these keywords. You get to choose which one of these are assigned to your image. And indeed, if you prefer, you can switch off the feature in Entirely. Now, assuming that you subscribe to On One Everything, you will also have access to the On One Cloud and Cloud Sync. Now, with Cloud Sync, you can synchronize your locally hosted photos with the On One Cloud, thus giving you a backup, but also making your photo library available to other On One Photo Raw installations that you might have on other computers, as well as the On One Photo Raw mobile app for iOS and Android. In addition, On One Photo Raw 2025 has two new small but very considerate photo management features. The first of which is the stack tool. Now, as the name suggests, the stack tool enables you to group and stack together multiple but similar photos. So for example, you might wish to stack a batch of HDR bracketed shots, a focus stack, or indeed a burst of a single moments of action. The second feature is the targeted album. Now, let's say you've just been out on a photo shoot and you now have all these photos and you want to put them all in a new album. Well, what we can now do is set this album to our targeted album. And as you browse your shoot, you can decide which of the photos you wish to assign to the album by simply clicking on B. So with photo management covered, let's talk about photo editing. Now, if you're new to On One Photo Raw or indeed new to photo editing in general, the first place you might like to start is presets. Now, fortunately, On One Photo Raw is absolutely loaded with them. Uh, presets are broken down into many different categories, ranging from landscape to portrait to black and white to artistic and so on. And each category features many different presets. They are also even AI adaptive presets. Now, these work by sort of being applied and then adjusted to the tonal characteristics of your image for an overall better fit. Then there's Brilliance AI. Now, Brilliance AI is sort of like those old automatic modes that you used to get, except with Brilliance AI, you can apply it to your image and then adjust the severity and characteristics of it. You can also, thanks to On One's object recognition technology, apply Brilliance AI to specific elements of your photo. So perhaps you can apply Brilliance AI 
AI to your photos, sky, background, or subject. Overall, Brilliant's AI sort of represents a nice middle ground between the ultra convenience of presets and the creative freedom of making your own adjustments. So the actual edit mode of On One Photo Raw is split into five different tabs. The first of being the develop tab. Now the develop tab is for adjusting your entire photo. And here you will find all the usual adjustments such as exposure, sharpening, blacks, shadows, highlight adjustments, white balance and so on. And each of these adjustments when applied will affect your entire image. But what if you don't want to sort of process your entire image? Well, then we move over to the local tab. Here we can mask certain areas of your photo and apply adjustments only to that area. Now you can create as many masks as you like and each mask and its subsequent adjustments are self-contained within their own layer. This means we can have as many different masks, as many as different adjustments in as many different layers as we like. And what's more, we can actually blend these layers together to create unique compound effects that simply aren't possible in a non-layer based photo editing application. Regarding masking, On One Photo Raw is stacked with options. By far the easiest way to mask your image is with Super Select AI, which recognizes common elements of your photo, such as animals, people, sky, mountains, background, and so forth. And you can click on these elements and Super Select will automatically mask them, thereby allowing you to make your adjustment. There are many different other masking tools. For example, we can mask parts of your image based on their color range, their luminosity, and new to On One Photo Raw 2025, even their depth. With the depth mask, the common application is background blur. So basically we can set the depth of the mask to sort of begin after our in sharp, in focus subject and then blur everything behind them. Now, if none of these masks are working out for you, you can always fall back on good old fashioned manual brushing. So having applied our local adjustments, the next stop is the effects tab, by far my favorite tab in On One Photo Raw. Now On One Photo Raw offers many different effects, simple effects from turn curves to more imaginative stuff like sun flares, light leakage, textures, weather effects, and so forth. And critically, you can apply as many different effects as you like. Furthermore, each effect and its own adjustments are self-contained to their own layer. Therefore, we can create as many different effects, each contained within their layer, and then blend each layer together again to create unique compound effects beyond the reach of non-layer based photo editing applications. For this reason, On One Effects is not only easy to use, it's extremely powerful and a lot of fun. So we've had our fun with effects and next is the Sky tab. Now in Sky is Sky Swap AI on one's Sky replacement product. And I'm happy to say that it is actually one of the better ones I've used and at least on par with Luminar Neo's Sky AI. Now, as the name suggests, here we can basically replace one sky for another and SkySwap AI has plenty to offer from sort of sunsets and sunrises to aurora to night skies to cloudy days and so forth. SkySwap AI does a very convincing effect of relighting your existing scene to match the new sky and a nice feature is that we can actually blur the sky and even change the direction of the blur, thus simulating that sort of streaky sky long exposure effect. Overall, SkySwap AI is a lot of fun, very effective, and a nice to have. Our final tab is the portrait tab, home to portrait AI. Here we can smooth skin, remove blemishes, brighten eyes, whiten teeth, redden lips, and so forth. Best of all, it is incredibly responsive, reacting to any of your adjustments in near real time, and it's extremely easy to use. Now you might think that's enough features, but on one would disagree. We also have No Noise AI, one of the very best noise reduction applications that I have ever tested. Built into No Noise is also Tack Sharp. Now, as the name suggests, Tack Sharp is an AI powered sharpening tool that offers artifact 
free sharpening, but is also strong enough to correct a degree of poor focus and motion blur. On One Resize AI is On One's own AI upscaler. Uh, last updated in 2023, Resize AI is pretty good. However, I must admit it has fallen behind some of its best competition. Nonetheless, Resize AI is certainly good for smaller upscales and ideal for casual use. And then we have a rather good HDR stacking tool, focus stacking, a time-lapse compiler, and a panoramic stitching tool. On One Photo Raw even has tethered shooting, meaning that we can attach our camera via a cable to our On One Photo Raw computer and fire our camera remotely. But in terms of features, we're not quite done yet because new to On One Photo Raw 2025 is Generative Erase. So like many other AI powered erase tools, Generative AI basically hopes to rid your subject of elements and using its artificial intelligence to reconstruct the background behind. And to that end, generative AI has always been a mixed bag and generative erase is no exception. One of the problems of reviewing any of these products is that the outcome is often different every time that you use them. So here I'm showing you three different attempts to erase the same object from the same photo. And as you can see, I'm getting three different results and none of them particularly any good. In fact, the very best result I've had with this photograph was done for my written review. And you can have a look at that over at silentpeakphoto.com. Now it's a little bit of a different story with generative crop. Now with generative crop here, we can actually extend, not enlarge, but extend our photos dimensions. And the artificial intelligence will basically construct detail to fit the new space. Obviously the detail is based on what is there already. And sometimes it works works incredibly well and sometimes not so much. However, I did find it sort of consistently more useful than the erase tool. And I also quite enjoyed using it, sort of seeing the surprise of what it might have done. Of course, you have to sort of be ready to surrender your creative vision to a separate intelligence, but nonetheless, generative crop is a fun diversion. The final new addition to On One Photo Raw's photo editing is the distraction removal tool. And by distractions, I mean dust spots and and power lines. So what is missing from On One Photo Raw? Well, the sort of obvious thing for me at least that's missing is face recognition powered photo management. Now On One Photo Raw does indeed have face detection. However, we can't tag those faces with names, nor will On One Photo Raw make any attempt to sort of recognize these people in subsequent photographs. The second sort of thing is missing is a web front end for its cloud sync technology. Now, with ACDC Photo Studio and Lightroom, I'm able to browse my cloud stored photographs via a web front end. Not only is this useful for me, but it makes it incredibly easy to share my images with family, friends, and clients. And hopefully this is a feature that On One can include at a later date. So we now know that On One Photo Raw does rather a lot, but what is On One Photo Raw 2025 like to use? Well, the biggest weakness of On One Photo Raw is first impressions. The moment that you boot up On One Photo Raw for the very first time, you are presented with a text heavy, very dense looking interface. Now it's not very clear exactly what you're supposed to do next. And I can best describe On One Photo Raw's photo editing workflow as non-linear. In other words, you can attack the process from various different angles. For instance, there's at least three different ways to start using Super Select AI. Now this is incredibly useful for the experienced user, but for the beginner, it just adds to the options and makes everything more complex. Hurting things further is some of On One's peculiar use of the English language. I was testing the brand new depth mask feature and the two adjustments that I had for altering sort of what was masked and what was not was called window and levels. Now I have no idea what that means or even how to contextualize it. And just simply by playing with the adjustments, I was able to sort of figure out very vaguely what they do. Now I've tested similar tools in other products and the slider is simply called depth. And it would be nice if On One Photo Raw could kind of simplify things for people like me.
Now, sadly, what all of this means is that on one foot or risks putting off its users before they really get going, which is a shame because many of the problems that I've outlined are simply short term problems, problems that are overcome in time. For instance, after a while, you'll begin to sort of notice the underlying logic of its cluttered interface. And you will also begin to appreciate the freedom of being able to attack your photographic workflow from many different directions. In terms of performance on one photo raw flies along reacting to your inputs in real time tools like no noise ai are among the fastest on the market today as is tools such as portrait ai transitions from one photo to an x or from one tool to next are not quite instantaneous but certainly fast enough Overall, I find On One Photo Raw pleasant to use, and so will you, so long as you are willing to ascend its initially steep learning curve. So you've got this far in this review, and you're wondering what else could you buy instead of On One Photo Raw? Well, the most obvious alternative is, of course, Lightroom. Now, make no mistake, Lightroom is not quite as capable as On One Photo Raw when it comes to actual photo editing. However, Lightroom has some wonderful photo management features such as face recognition powered photo management, enabling you to browse your photos by those who appear in them. We also have that all important web browser front end for your cloud hosted photos, enabling you to browse and edit your images via any common web browser. And of course, share those images with your friends, family and clients. However, this freedom is going to cost you quite literally. Lightroom is subscription only and will cost you at least $9.99 US dollars every single month for Lightroom and one terabyte worth of cloud storage. Now that isn't particularly expensive for what you get, but in contrast, the standard edition of On One Photo Raw costs around about $100 and you get to own it forever. So compared to Lightroom, On One Photo Raw is a little bit of a bargain. Another great alternative to On One Photo Raw is ACDC Photo Studio. Now, like Lightroom, ACDC Photo Studio has face recognition powered photo management. It even gives you a web front end for your cloud hosted file so you can view your files via common web browsers and, of course, share them with your friends. However, we can't edit our photos via the web browser, and ACDC also has traditional base noise reduction which falls far short of the AI powered no noise AI noise reduction in On One Photo Raw. Overall, I consider ACDC one of the finest alternatives to On One Photo Raw. And if I was to sort of tell you which one to go for, I would say if you prioritize photo management, you should go with ACDC. And if you prioritize photo editing, try On One Photo Raw. So is On One Photo Raw any good? Well, yes, in fact, it is extremely difficult to think of any other photo editing application that does quite so much, quite so well for so little money. Now, of course, it isn't perfect. We're still lacking face recognition. We don't have our web front end to browse our cloud stored images and its user interface is unwelcoming to beginners. However, if you are willing to climb On One Photo Raw's initially steep learning curve, you will be rewarded. On One Photo Raw is extremely feature rich, extremely capable and perhaps the only photo editing software you'll ever need. And for all those reasons, I highly recommend you give On One Photo Raw a go. Now, at this point, I would like to tell you that I am indeed an On One affiliate. However, I am also an affiliate for Adobe, for Lumina, DxO, ACDC, and quite a few more. Therefore, I am somewhat impartial through saturation, if you like. Nonetheless, you do not have to take my word for it. And if you would like to try it on One Photo Raw for yourself, you can. And in the description below, you will find a link to your free On One Photo Raw trial. If you'd like to know more about On One Photo Raw or photo editing applications in general, do stop by my website at silentpeakphoto.com. I hope you found this review useful or at least interesting. Thanks for stopping by. My name's Richard from Silent Peak, and I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.